my cuties, several cutie nieces. Today I did a controversial eyeliner. Don't ask me what it is because I just made up that name. <laughs> As you see, I only have one wing so I cannot fly today. But I did do some makeup for you. And if you want to see how I did this look, you just have to keep on watching as I'm getting started right now. Today, with a lame wing, a one hand makeup. First, I am going to put a moisturizer on. Right on time. Oh. I've got a new brow thing. Eyebrow coloring. I've never used it. But I'm first going to put on my foundation and powder it off. And then we will see what this does. It has one side with a brush. A very nice brush. And the other side is a jar with cream. So, Shake that booty. Shake that one arm. Love me. Now I'm very excited to do those brows with that because I really have no clue is the brush gonna work like I want to? I have no idea so this is the very first touch between the brush and the product Ta-da! Ta-da! I think it gets a very natural result. I really love the color for me. It takes time to get used to this system, but I love it, and I love this brush. No, I am less scared, so I'm taking more product, because <laughs> it's not just a cream, it's more like a semi-permanent paint, and I'm not going too low with the tail, because I'm going to do a special eye makeup that will See. There! I really like this! 
coloring, long lasting coloring eyebrow by Nanda. Nanda is the brand of which I also use the translucent powder, which is also very high quality. So I kind of like this brand. <laughs> I'm building up my favorites. Hi, Ripka. Hello. Are you coming to be in the video? I know you won't shut up in a moment. <laughs> okay. Wow. Love these brows. Really, definitely love these brows. Eyebrow gel eyebrow mascara actually and since my brows are growing uh, you can almost say that I have brows now for the eyes I want to go for um, a cut crease but without liner on the yeah how should I say You'll see while I'm at it. It's not gonna be a normal cut crease like we're used to. It's gonna be a little bit special. So I'm gonna use eye primer. Strange working with one hand. And the sticker that you see is Lidocaine. It's a special disinfective or yeah, it's medicine that goes through the skin straight into the jaw. So it should help for the pain. Yeah. As transition color for my eyes, I'm going to my Max and More palette because I know that the cake powders here are perfect as an eye base. So with a big fluffy brush, I'm gonna take the darkest one of these two and apply that all over the eye primer. But it's not a huge difference in color. It's very subtle, but most important, it's there. Now, I am going to take a very, very thin, small, not angled but flat brush and I'm gonna start with a dark gray and I am going to start in the middle above my crease here to see where I am going with that line it's gonna be black later but I start with gray to have it really mapped out actually and I'm starting right here where you have that fold that goes to the crease but I'm building up higher And I am going to swoop that out underneath the brow. That's why I didn't want the tail of the brow to be too low. Mm, it's not important that it's not as even everywhere because it's going to be a very thin but it's gonna be blended upwards. So it's, as I say, not that important at this point, how perfect or how whatever this is. And I stop right on the inner tear duct. Now, under the eye, I am going to do the same as what I am going to do on the top, but in the opposite direction, So for that line, I'm going to start instead of there with a wing on the inner corner that goes that way and stops in the middle of my eye. So I make a tip here 
and a bit of a line. Now, to make this perfect, and I'm gonna rest my arm on the table, you need a liquid liner or a felt tip liner or whatever you have nearby that's very, very thin and where you can work very fine with. With the, I often have the problem that I miss or anything because I want to be too fast. So I am going to use it, but I'm going to try to be so gentle and careful. And I've got my tips right nearby to immediately correct if I do something wrong. But before I'm going to start that, I'm going to put on a pair of lashes. These are more spiky, these are more flary. A combination of the two would be ideal. I think I'm gonna go for those. I mean, a lot of pain and darling raccoon. We have had him for 13 years and I loved him so much. His name was Tom. And he is old, very, very thin. He lost a lot of weight. He is he, he's got no value in his life anymore, so they're gonna put him to sleep today. And I said my goodbyes this morning. Now I can have peace with it. I'm a very strange person when it comes to things like that. I gotta say goodbye. I, I gotta get a chance to say goodbye to an animal before it's being put to sleep. And it's as if the, the animal knows. They feel it. They feel what's gonna happen. I done my crying this morning, so now I can talk about it. And I see you guys like some kind of a family, my, my makeup family. So I really want to share everything with you. It's not like I'm vlogging. Let me know if you've seen this video, if you want me to vlog or not. I've been blabbering enough now. Now, I'm going to take a flat brush that is very, very tapered and I'm going to blend up this gray, but instead of gray, I'm gonna take black. So I'm gently gonna feather that line up, 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 upwards. So once you've got that, you take a fluffy brush and you start blending that upper edge. I'm using an angled blending brush so that I can use the tip to push up the color because it's only supposed to be upward. And then I take a little bit of a burgundy tone. It's maybe better to take another brush, not too big, a little appliment brush. It doesn't really matter which color it is, but I'm taking a shimmery burgundy color and I'm gonna mix that a little bit in that black. So that it's a bit shimmery and not black completely. But I am gonna line it with black. So this is still the blending part of the edge of the cut crease. And from that you can take as much as you want and you can blend it out as far as you want. But what I want to do is go back to my blending brush but I'm taking a round one this time. And I am going to use 
a beigey color which is also gonna be a highlight under the brow and will immediately blend the burgundy and the highlight together so that edge is really softened down and then you can take a little touch of shimmer actually the shimmery version of that color so far that part now I am going to have to do the same shading underneath the eye so I'm going to black And I know I make weird faces. And I'm bringing that just under the waterline, not in the waterline, but just against it. And just halfway the eye. With the same brush, I go into the burgundy and gently downwards, I blend them together and blend this too that's that Take a breath, because I always hold my breath when I'm doing something like this. It's going slowly, but it's coming. It's gonna be okay. Okay, so far so good for that side. Now I'm also going to do the lower part and then I will do the other side of camera because it's just the same, you know. Now as you saw, I did make a little tip on this inner corner too, so these two are parallel, so you have your two parallel lines here. And this line really stops halfway or two-thirds, you can even go a little bit further. There it stops. I hope you can see very well what this lower part is too. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. This is the in-between result. I'm going to take concealer and with concealer I am going to fill up the areas that I want to do with eyeshadow because this is just a line being a line and I want to have a soft light pink shimmery eyeshadow in there in between here and as eyeliner and I put some concealer on a box because I don't have my other hand available now and I'm gonna try to bring it on very fine and thin in that open area I'm gonna work in sections. I just might use this rose gold. No, very, very fine brush. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 
very cute. Rose gold, very pretty. And I'll continue doing this. Is one side and I love it. I got a lot of fallout but I do have to do my concealer anyway. Now I'm going to clean up the black line with the black liner. This should be this result. Now I'm going to do mascara because I'm going to put on those falsies. I will do my lower lashes once my falsies and everything are in place because I don't want to ruin my look, of course. There, that's that. It does have a little bit of an Egyptian-like. Now that I did this makeup so tough and hard, my new brushes arrived that I had ordered a long time ago to do looks like this. Nice thing to know if you put on your lashes and they were over dried, just add glue again and pop them on right away and they stick like crazy. Perfect. Incredible. Super. Now, I'm gonna take cream eyeliner, gel eyeliner, and I'm gonna try one of my new brushes. They are the normal angled, very thin eyeliners that I had, but mine was so old that it Died. Oh my god, the right material is so easy. Oh, look at that. Magic. I was almost working like a carpenter without a saw. Oh, and by the way, But you all know I am disabled and I have these situations very often, so most of the time you don't see it, but this time it's so bad that I cannot hide it. And I have an appointment with the specialists, but that is almost at the end of the month. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush to put on the last bit of rose gold too, so that the line will be as thin as possible. There it goes. There. That is what I wanted for this look. And it's what I've got. So, now I'm gonna work off my face. I'm gonna do my lower lash line too. Very carefully. On the inner tear duct, I am going to put a little dot of white shimmery eyeliner. That's what I wanted to achieve. I can use the concealer that I have here with a concealer and a butter. Use concealer on it and use that to clean up very close to these 